hello. Just gonna wait for people to join. Hello, everybody. Hey, if you're just joining me, can you give me a thumbs up or um, a signal that you can hear me? Hi, Michelle, can you hear me okay? Hello, hi everybody. Hi, Jacqueline, thank you. Can you hear me, you can hear me okay? Hi guys, I don't know if you saw the email. I'm gonna be talking about um, not optimal, yes, hi guys, good, good. Um, optimal weight. Um, weight management, whether for you, it's different for everybody, whether you're happy with where you are and you want to maintain your weight um, or you want to lose weight, um, weight happiness is my goal. I want you to be happy with where you are. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, guys. And um, so my talk today is going to um, talk about how you can support your body to support your efforts at maintaining your weight. If you want to lose weight, hi Christy, you just have a little more work to do because losing weight has a little bit more to do with being a little more structured so that you have more calories going in and you're, you're expending more calories, you're burning more calories so that you can be burning fat. The problem with what is happening, not just with what's going on in society and stress, but what's happening inside our bodies is um, because we are not eliminating toxins and things that we are being exposed to every single day. Hi, Donna Joy. Um, we are possibly creating more fat cells. So you might be working out. So you, this might be your story. You're getting up early every day. You're working out for 45 minutes to an hour doing your elliptical or your cardio, your, your yoga, your running, whatever you're doing, uh, lifting weights. And you, day by day goes on, you feel like you should be losing fat, but you don't really see the evidence of that. And the reason might be simple. It might be there's two reasons why your body holds on to fat. So I'm going to go over those, how you can stop producing more fat. Because what happens is it's very protective. Your body knows how much toxic load you have and how much your liver can handle. And when the, the, the tipping point, when it gets to the point where you can't handle it anymore, your body can't handle it anymore, your body will do things, um, two different things to help you not hold on or not be so toxic. So the first thing it's gonna do is it's probably going to hold on to water. You might feel bloated, even though um, it, it, for women it's not that time. You might feel excess water, um, but your body will hold on to excess water to dilute out the toxins you're not getting rid of. Or to try and get rid of them faster, it'll dilute them out, hold on to water so that you can try to eliminate them. Um, the next way your body is going to try to um, protect you is by producing more fat more fat cells. So even though you might be burning fat with your workouts and your diet routine, you might be producing fat cells, making fat cells just as quickly as you're burning them. Because what happens is your body stores excess toxins in your fat tissue. And in order for you to actually burn fat and not remake those cells, you need to detox your fat. You need to get the toxins out of your fat and out of your body, not uh, mobilizing around in your bloodstream. So um, if you are not detoxifying every single day, you're, I call it retoxifying every single day, just being outside, just being alive, breathing in the air, you're, you're increasing your toxic load by some of the foods that we eat and the products that we might be putting on our bodies, things like that. Um, you are retoxifying every day. And in order for your body to manage that, it will create more fat so that it can store those toxins in your fat tissue. I have somewhere fat tissue, not real fat tissue. Here it is. So this is fat tissue or like fake fat. 
Um, and toxins are stored in here. So even though you're working out and burning fat, your body might be just producing just as much fat to store. On the other hand, muscle doesn't really store fat. It stores energy. When you have more muscle than fat, you burn more calories even when you're not working out. So even just walking or daily day in daily life, if you have more, more muscle weight than fat weight, you will burn more calories. Fat burns zero calories. It takes no energy to keep fat on your belly. So muscle will actually burn more fat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple um, principles of what you need to do to help eliminate your body's need to hold on to water and produce more fat cells, all right? If you guys have any questions, please, um, I have a belly that does not go away. Elizabeth, hi Elizabeth. Um, uh, if you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, please, please, please post them in the, in the comments below. Um, I just wanna kind of keep myself on track. All right, so. In order to burn and get those toxins out of your fat, you need to detoxify every single day. Uh, and for everyone, that's a little bit different, uh, what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that you are drinking plenty of water. You wanna make sure that your body's hydrated. Even if you feel bloated and you're feeling like you're holding onto water, the water isn't in the right spot. So what I've done is I have actually created a three-step weight loss program. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this. Hi, Tracy Joe been a struggle for 14 years so this struggle actually might be it might be hormonal so these struggles that you go through of uh, fat loss it, it can come down to stress stress creates more cortisol um, the, the the stress hormone cortisol causes you to have more fat storage um, poor sleep I mean these all go hand in hand poor sleep eating habits exercise habits like that's the calories in calories out those affect it your your own hormones affect it your hydration status your metabolism so there's three essentials in my opinion there's three essential things that need to need to happen on a daily basis that you need to support in order to maintain health and it's not just health by a healthy weight but it's health in general so those three essentials for your body are your metabolism. So you need to make sure that you are supporting your body's ability to utilize the right fuel for energy, metabolism. That's your number one. If you are storing more fat than you are muscle, then you are not utilizing, uh, your body's not able to utilize the right uh, modalities or you're you you could be expending less calories because there's no calories needed to support fat so let's get you building more muscle what happens sometimes when you're sleeping is you go into a catabolic state and your body breaks down muscle because it needs some amino acids while you're sleeping your body is still processing it's processing your activity from the day it's processing the muscle breakdown or not muscle breakdown it's processing information it's doing all sorts of things but in order to do that it needs some energy amino acids from protein and since a lot of people will not eat later at night or they're not eating the right things later at night or snacking on the wrong type of things you're not providing your body the right essential tools to break down fat so it has to break down muscle in order to get those amino acids or essential acids that will allow it to process and do what it needs to do to recuperate through the night. So the first essential is supporting your metabolism, keeping your metabolism, keeping your energy levels high so that you can focus, so that you can do your workout, so you can get out of bed with energy and integrity and focus. Um, the second is hydration status which goes hand in hand with detoxification. I believe these two are very, very uh, close with each other. They could be separate. Um, there could actually be four essentials, but I do believe that hydration 
and detoxification, detoxification go hand in hand. Why? Because as you're retoxifying all day long, if you are not hydrated, you are going to be storing those fat, th those toxins in fat and holding on to water. So if you are hydrated, think about this, if you're hydrated and you're drinking constantly throughout the day water, not like not as much caffeine, I'm talking straight water, and you are staying hydrated, your body is able to flush those toxins out of out faster than if you are dehydrated. So I believe hydration and detoxification go hand in hand. You can separate them out, but if you are detoxifying, if you're using something that's gonna detox your system, but not hydrating, you aren't going to be efficient at it. You are ultimately going to have less energy, you're gonna drop your metabolism. All right, does that make sense? So detox for me and hydration go hand in hand. The third essential for maintaining your healthy weight or getting to a healthy weight is sleep. It is not overrated, it is underrated. Today, we all, uh, like if, if you need to get something done, you, we, our priorities are wrong, wrong for a lot of us. We will stay up late and sacrifice sleep in order to get all of our to-do list done. And really what we need to do is flip that. We need to make sure we're getting our sleep. And for me, it's sometimes it's going to bed, um, you know, sometimes it's just going to, making myself go to bed at 10 p.m. When I feel exhausted, when my body feels exhausted, hi guys. Um, Hi, Renee, I'm sorry to hear about your miscarriages. Wrecked havoc on your hormones, I believe it. Hi, Cindy, um, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, when, when you sacrifice your sleep, there's no way to get that sleep back. You can't make up for it on the weekends. They have proven that, that if you sleep less during the week, sleeping in on the weekends doesn't, doesn't compensate for what you didn't. Those days that you're sleep deprived, you have an increase in cortisol, guess what? Increase in cortisol means an increase in fat. An increase in cortisol means that you are not, you're probably holding on to water and you're not detoxifying correctly. When you have a loss, lack of sleep, you can't make good decisions for yourself. All of a sudden the potato chips look really good instead of like something that's healthy. So you can't make those good decisions for yourself. It's harder to stay on track when you're sleep deprived. So those three essentials, Metabolism, hydration, which increases detoxification, and sleep are essential. Hi, Chris. So if you are someone that's like me and you want to be able to support your health, you can't really do it alone. Like you, in this day and age, um, supplements, and, and really you gotta make sure the supplements are good quality. So what do you want to look for in supplements? What I'm going to show you is what I have created based on my background as a registered nurse, knowing how absorption happens in your body, how to get the most out of your, your, um, your, your supplements. Because for a lot of people, if you suffer from any digestive issues, any digestive health, malabsorption, SIBO, which is an overgrowth of the bad bacteria, um, Crohn's, any colitis, any type of malabsorption syndrome in your gut, you are not absorbing not just your supplements, but also you're not absorbing your food nutrients as well either. So you are nutrient de depleted. When you're nutrient depleted, guess what happens? Cortisol goes up and we start producing more fat. Your metabolism tanks you're less hydrated, you can't detoxify, and now you can't sleep. Hi, Alicia. So, what I've done is created supplements. By the way, as a nurse, I can't tell you how many times I've seen capsules or pills in bedpans, seriously. So many times people don't, that's how bad our digestive systems are, that it, a lot of our supplements will pass straight through us and nothing has been absorbed. So we feel secure in taking supplements, but what are you really absorbing? So what I have done is I've created liquid supplements to support the three aspects 
of your body that needs supported for you to either lose weight if that's your goal or maintain your weight if that's your goal so that you can have weight happiness. The first one is step one and it's called metabolize, which if you remember correctly, metabolism is the first thing that we need to support in order to have enough energy for our bodies, in order to burn fat um, and, and build muscle. We need to support our metabolism. Let me talk really quick ab about the delivery system of each of these because it's different than the pills that you might be used to taking. So this is my, um, my delivery system is a liquid delivery system. These are gonna taste very potent because they're herbally based and they have a um, bitter, if you wanna call it bitter, taste to them because they are potent and they are liquid. There are no fillers. When I'm talking about pills and capsules, you can pretty much, there's binders in there, there's fillers in there. You might have 50%, um, it's just like skincare. Anytime you put things in that your body doesn't really need, it takes away from what your body should be taking out of that supplement. So I got rid of all the BS and only put the good stuff in here. So it is liquid, it is brown. Let me open it. It is brown. So you can kind of see the, the it is mucky looking. It has sediment in it, that's all normal. That sediment is some of the herbs and the herbals. Uh, and what all you simply do is, this one, let me, let me open. This is metabolism, step one. So this one's a little different color. So all you do is squeeze the dropper. You want about an inch in there. And for the two of them, the morning one, metabolism, and the nighttime one, sleep, you are simply gonna squeeze that and drop it under your tongue. So this is metabolism. I don't wanna do the sleepy one. I'm gonna do this one. Under your tongue and hold it there for up to 90 seconds. You can move it, I'm gonna swallow it, just like a dog. You would hold it under your tongue or you can move it around so that it's around your cheek area, but you wanna hold it there for 90 seconds. It has grape alcohol, organic grape, grape alcohol in it. The organic grape, grape alcohol is going to cause your blood vessels in your mouth to go from this to like this. It's gonna vasodilate. What does that do for you? What does that mean for you? That means that you are going to have an increase in blood flow and you are going to absorb more from whatever you put in your mouth right there. So you are going to absorb more of this since it's under your tongue. The under the tongue method, buccal or sublingual, whatever you wanna call it in the medical terminology, means that it doesn't go to your liver. So when you take pills in, when you take all those capsules and pills and those handfuls of things and they go to your gut they have to first of all be broken down not pass through once it's broken down and absorbed most of it will go to your liver we call that first pass through your liver and you will most likely eliminate at least 50 percent when you bypass your liver by absorbing something under your tongue or along your cheek you absorb it and it travels everywhere through your body and it's able to then work the way it's supposed to. This is the exact same reason you should not be using toxic toothpaste and mouthwash. Same reason, because you're gonna absorb those toxins and they're gonna travel throughout your body and cause havoc and harm everywhere, which is exactly why I created my dental products to eliminate all those toxins inside your mouth. This is on the same principle that you are going to absorb what you put in your mouth, but this is a supplement that you want to absorb. Does that make sense? When you take it in your gut and you don't absorb it, it's doing you no good. So the way I formulated these is to be potent and to be um, a liquid that you put under your tongue and hold under your tongue. Step one is metabolism and step three is sleep. Those you hold under your tongue for, thir for up to a minute and a half. I'll go into what each one of these does in a second, but the different one is the hydrate. So hydrate is a little bit different. Let me get my, um, I'm gonna show you how to mix hydrate. 
So you can, if you need instant or if you feel really dehydrated, you can do it the same way as step one and step three. But on a daily basis, what you can do instead is this is my bottle of water. And what you can do is you want to shake this first. And this is what I do. So you go in, you squeeze. Look, this one's dark as well. And then I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops. So up to 20 drops a day. You want to get 20 drops a day. So there's six drops in my water bottle. And then all I do, I sometimes add a little bit of lemon. It makes it taste really good. Lemon's detoxifying as well. And then I drink this. I'll drink three of these a day. So I get 20 drops in my day. So I'll drink at least three of these. You can put a little bit more in here. So 10 drops in here, drink two of these. This is gonna get you hydrated, but this the, the hydrate is going to support your hydration status so you absorb and keep more liquid and detox. That's the other part of it. The hydrate is gonna also detox you. So you can use hydrate those two different ways. So let me see if there's any questions. Will you ever sell them separately? Tracy Joe wants to know. So maybe right now you can purchase sleep separately. Sleep is um, sold individually or it is a part of the package as well. So if you really want to work on getting some good sleep, um, this is this one I highly recommend. If you're not going to do the whole package, sleep is really, it's really good. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's going to help with all of these things. It's going to support all of this. It's going to support fat burning, uh, muscle growth. It's going to support um, your energy production, deep sleep with melatonin. So sleep is the one I would highly recommend um, if you're only getting one, but the weight loss system is a three-step. What is, what's good for anxiety? So the uh, um, anxiety is a multifaceted, it's caused by a lot of things, but stress, lack of sleep, um, toxic energy, toxic things inside, all contribute to anxiety. So by, by doing uh, this whole system, you're going to help eliminate some of those factors that increase anxiety, if that makes sense. So you can't, from, in my opinion, you can't just do one thing to get rid of anxiety. You have to literally change and work on a couple things because anxiety isn't just, um, does sleep have lactose? No, sleep does not have lactose. I have a hard time drinking 64 ounces of water daily. Elizabeth, so Elizabeth, um, I would just put a couple more drops. So if you're going to be drinking um, two of these a day, 10 drops in each, you can put a little bit more in there. Um, how many ounces of water for six drops? Does the melatonin create a dependency? I'm worried about No, there none of my supplements create dependent dependency at all. So let me read you. Um, so you want to put two drops in every eight ounces of water. Um, sometimes you can add a little bit more if you want, because you can take this directly under your tongue. So I can take this whole thing and put it right on my tongue. This one's really potent, really potent. Bitter, doesn't have the best taste, but I don't go for taste because in order to make something taste good, do you know what has to happen? For the most part, they put sugar in it. Almost, if you look at almost every immune support out there, gummies, if you look at gummies, if you look at elderberry, if you look at all of those syrups out there, in order for you to take it, they put sugar in there. Well, guess what every single sugar does to your immune system? It tanks it. Think about that. I'm right now trying to create a gummy that is sugar-free no sugar. So I'm working on it because I, I am so against sh sugar is like poison. It's poison. It literally is poison. Um, so anyway, I don't want to get off track too much. Um, the melatonin is nothing is, um, going to it just, just started the weight loss system today. I just want to see what Jody said. The taste of metabolizes earthy and herbal, but not bad. It was not hard to keep in my mouth for 90 seconds before swallowing. Sleep is the same. I already used it prior to starting this. Hydrate is diluted, so I barely taste it. Yes. Hey, thanks, Jody. Thanks for that feedback. Um, should we stick with just drinking half our body weight in ounces in a day? 
for um, uh, the instructions, it says a gallon, which is a little much for me. So Alyssa, so, you know, everybody has to do their own what's best for them or what you think is best for you. Um, drinking a gallon of water, depending on your energy and what you're doing, if you're working out, a gallon of water actually might be what you need. Um, and just see how you feel. But you really should aim the, for water. Unless you are on a water restriction for a heart condition, you really should be drinking more water than you think you need. Especially in this day and age when you're wearing a mask a lot because that's dehydrating you. Most people walk around dehydrated. We're not water loss. Like we hold on to water. It's in the wrong spot. So um, most people walk around dehydrated and don't even know it. Dehydration, symptoms of dehydration, the number one symptom is lack of energy and confusion you, and, and lack of sleep. You, like all of the symptoms of dehydration, we think are something else. It can even lead to cravings, poor food choices, things like that. So um, seriously, um, unless you're really on a water restriction for a health condition, um, you can drink a little bit more water. And, um, and actually, if you flavor it with a little bit of lemon, tastes really good. That's how I've been doing it. So I'm going to go into each one of those um, and tell you exactly like why each one of those is in, what, what the ingredients are. So step one is hydrate. Nope, sorry. Step one is metabolize. It's the red one. And it's super easy. It has a number one on it. So you can see that very easy. So number one is your um, metabolism. I just want to get to where all of the ingredients are. So it has methionine in it, methionine. It helps, it's an antioxidant amino acid used to neutralize free radicals. It helps you break down fat. It helps remove heavy metals. So I have detoxification because I know that you need to detox and metabolize fat. Like that is probably gonna affect your health more than some of the other things that we're doing. So detoxification and metabolism of fat is in all, basically all three of these. So it, um, the uh, methion, methionine is going to help remove heavy metals from the body, um, which heavy metals can cause a lot of havoc in the body. Um, let's see. And it aids in digestion it's an amino acid, which is also going to increase energy and lean muscle mass. So that's why that's in there. Um, and inos inositol is considered to be a part of the B vitamin family. Um, it's vi um, vital for metabolism of fat and cholesterol. So high doses, so B vitamins, there's, I have B vitamins in a few, in two of these, I believe. And the B vitamins are vital for fat metabolism, cholesterol, increased energy, emulsifying fats, and um, detoxification. All right, let me go back to, all right. Choline is also in metabolize. metabolize. Um, it minimizes excess fat in the liver through its fat and cholesterol metabolizing properties. So by cleansing out your liver, your liver is going to be able to help get rid of some of those toxins much more efficiently. Choline is known to support nerve transmission, cell integrity, and cell signaling. By the way, I had a question. Um, somebody asked me recently, how long do I need to do this for? So we are all in the mindset that I only need to lose weight until I'm happy, and then I can go back to doing whatever I was doing, which basically means that we're on that um, Ferris wheel or we're on that yo-yo diet. So what my answer to them was, is um, you're retoxifying every single day. I don't look at my three-step weight loss system as something that you go on for a month, you go off for two, you go on, off. It is something that is meant to support your body on a daily basis so that you can support your metabolism, support your hydration and detoxification, and sleep on a daily basis. If you want to yo-yo, that's up to you, and you can continue doing the on-off, on-off cycles, but if you really want results long-term, supporting all three of those essential body um, functions, 
is for, I'm looking long-term health. So really, my answer was, this is a, a monthly thing. You do it every month to support your health and your body. Oh, thanks, Bill. Hi, Bill. How are you? All right. So let me go. Let me see what else is in Metabolize. Metabolize. Um, Chada Bugra. Chada Bugra is um, in a tea. It's popular tea. Um, or it is a tea. It's known for its appetite suppressing and weight loss enhancing properties. So in Metabolize, it's going to increase your metabolism and suppress your appetite. Along the line, so these all work together. This is why I put them as a set. So at night when you're sleeping, some of the ingredients that are in sleep are going to help reduce your food cravings. It's going to help increase growth hormone and increase serotonin and dopamine. You'll feel good. Chocolate increases dopamine. The reason sometimes we eat chocolate or foods like chocolate, those feel good foods, is because we need dopamine. We need more dopamine. We feel like we need more dopamine. We need dopamine. So the ingredients that I put in here have that. They're precursors to dopamine, which basically means if you, you, you look to the future, you're going to have less cravings because you, you're not trying to fill that or create that on your own. When we leave it to our brains to try and decide what to do, chocolate is what your brain is going to tell you to eat, right? Chocolate is what your brain is going to say. You're going to be at the grocery store at the checkout, and where do they have? They have chocolate right there. And your brain's going to go, dopamine. I know I'm going to feel better when I eat that chocolate. I'm not going to look better, and I ultimately won't feel better, but I'm going to get some dopamine. I'm going to make some. So you grab the chocolate, you eat the chocolate bar, and then you have a little more of this. Now you can't sleep well. It's all a cycle. So the way I formulated these was so that all day long, your, your body is primed so that you're not making wrong choices and because you don't need to, and you're supporting these three levels. Okay, B6. B6 and B12 are both in metabolize, metabolism. B, B vitamins um, support energy and fat metabol metabolism, basically. So that's the reason it's in there. Um, B12 also helps your digestive system, your nervous system. Um, it helps um, with anxiety. We were talking about anxiety a little while ago. It helps um, with irritability, stress, confusion. So if you think about all of those things, that's the first thing you want to take in the morning is your metabolize because you're going to help set yourself up for success during the day. Arginine is also in metabolize. Um, it's an amino acid to increase fat metabolism and improve cardiometabolic function. Guana, gu guana has been shown to improve mental uh, performance and increase your energy. Um, let's see, mental clarity, and it increases blood flow, and it can help overcome bouts of fatigue. That's metabolize. That's metabolize. That is the number one priority when you get up in the morning. One of the first things that you need to do after you brush your teeth and you follow my dental health routine protocol is you squirt your metabolize under your tongue before you drink your coffee. That's the best way to do it. And then you may not need your coffee. All right. Second thing is hydrate. Hydrate, again, can go in your water bottle. If you really feel dehydrated, you can do it under your tongue. Very potent. So be prepared for the taste of it, um, but it's going to work. Trust me. I have tested this by taking squirts of it under my tongue, and it literally will de-bloat you, ladies. Feels good. De-bloat you, and I will need to go to the bathroom a couple times to get rid of my excess water. So if you want to de-bloat, that's a great way to de-bloat. Um, so hydrate has aloe vera. Aloe vera is going to move that water from your tissue back into your vascular system, and then it's going to help flush it out. You're going to help flush out. And in the meantime, the other ingredients that are going to help detox you are going to be getting rid of those heavy metals and all those toxins that you're getting, that you need to get rid of to be healthier so that you don't have to produce more fat. You can actually burn fat and build muscle. So, uh, aloe vera transports nutrients into body cells, making them more bioavailable, meaning you're going to get more out of the nutrients you're taking in, either through supplements 
or through food. Uh, aloe vera also has the ability to detoxify reactive metabolites from the liver and other organs and has a laxative effect to reduce bloating. So it's detoxing and it's reducing the, all that excess water or bloating. Um, lysine berries contain polysaccharides that have been demonstrated to have a positive effect on energy, athletic performance, stamina, and endurance, metabolism, glucose control, and cell protection. Really important um, in hydrate. Um, shalaji, uh, shalajit, that one's hard to say, shalajit, it's um, humic acid, fulvic acid, and organic plant material to uh, nourish cells. That's what you actually taste. When, if you've ever tasted um, shalajit, it's black. It's like volcanic ash is really what it is, I believe. Um, it is, um, I don't even know how to describe it. Has anybody tasted it out there? It's um, got this really potent earthy taste to it, but that's what you actually taste in hydrate. Um, poly, it, the poly electrolyte delivery system of shalajit is known to enhance the absorption stability and effect of nutrients in the body. Super good. Super potent, detoxifying, and hydrating. So that's hydrate. And then sleep. I've talked about sleep because we've had this one out for a little bit longer than the whole system. Sleep is so important. Sleep is so important. Try to get at least seven, if not eight or nine hours of sleep a night. You will feel so much better. Sleep has velvet antler in it, velvet deer antler. Velvet antler is one of nature's richest source of IGF, which is a metabolite of growth hormone and responsible for growth and metabolism. Growth hormone is going to support fat burning and muscle. So this is what I was talking about when you're sleeping at night and you're not, you're not getting those amino acids that support your bodily functions. Your body's still doing things while you're sleeping. It's actually probably doing as much as when you're awake. It's just different. You need to be, you're processing information and processing what's going on in your body. If you don't have those amino acids available, your body will break down your muscle to support your body during sleep. It's not going to break down fat because fat doesn't have amino acids in it. All right. Fat is fat. It's actually going to create more fat and it's going to be muscle wasting to get those amino acids. Does that make sense? So velvet antler, this is the difference between my supplements and most of them out there. Velvet antler is going to support, it's going to give them the amino acids that and bovine colostrum. That's the other one. Between the two of them, you are going to have those amino acids so that your fat doesn't need to be broken down. This is why a lot of people that exercise, build weight or build muscle, don't see the results after a certain point because at night they're breaking down muscle to support their body, bodily functions. Whether or not they increase fat is another thing, but they're actually breaking down muscle to support their body. So velvet antler, velvet antler extract, and bovine colostrum is a source of bioidentical growth hormone and IGF-1, um, which gets diminished during sleep, which is why your body um, has, to, uh, has to use other things. So um, growth hormone is extremely important, not only for um, you know, muscle, but it's also important for your immune system and every system inside your body. Growth hormone greatly diminishes as we get older. Um, in fact, as, when I was a nurse in the burn ICU um, years ago, we used to give patients growth hormone every night because it helped them with reducing inflammation and healing and not muscle wasting. Like, you know what people get, when people get sick, you muscle waste. Like, that's what you're burning for energy because you need those. So growth hormone is extremely important. As we get older, if you want to maintain your weight. Uh, let's see, macuna bean is um, nature's richest source of L-dopa, which is a precursor to dopamine. And I was talking about that feel good. When you need to feel good, your brain will tell you chocolate, it will tell you potato chips, it will tell you whatever it wants because it wants to feel good. But macuna is going to help. It's a precursor to dopamine, so it's going to reduce those cravings. It's going to help regulate sleep, mood, 
motivation, stress, motor skills, and a lot of other bodily functions. It, it doesn't create a negative feedback loop, meaning it doesn't create that um, loop with dopamine production, like too much, not a good. So, um, so it contains IGF-1 is an effective immune enhancement, enhancement key element of L velvet antler for sure. Thanks, Bill. Uh, so melatonin, of course, sleep has melatonin in it. That's going to help induce that deep REM pattern um, of sleep with serotonin um, and tr uh, tryptophan. Uh, it is known to have powerful anti antioxidant effects. It increases your metabolic rate during sleep for weight loss. So, and it also increases your immune response. And because of the way it's absorbed, you will utilize it and it will put you in a deep sleep without waking up feeling groggy. So it's different than when you take a pill. When you take a pill, you might not absorb what you take for four to six hours. You might not get the, so now you're trying to wake up when you finally just absorbed your melatonin. That's why you feel so groggy. When you take it under your tongue, 90 seconds, baby. You got it in, it's starting to circulate, and you're absorbing it. And then it's going to, you're going to, util, your body's going to utilize it. It's going to be effective. Imagine taking this and going to bed knowing that six hours is when it's going to kick in. And all the great effects are going to be completely wasted because your body is now moving on to your daily activities. Right? So this, my delivery system ensures that when you take it, your body's gonna be able to use it right away. You're not gonna pee it out, you're not gonna poop it out, you're actually gonna use it. Your body's gonna be able to use it. It's gonna be effective. Um, so, B6. Uh, B6 is also in here, remember when I said B6, a lot of my, all three of these work together to give you that complete package. So B6, um, it's great for energy, it's great for um, fat metabolism, cognition, um, protein, fat, carbohydrate metabolism, the creation of red blood cells, neurotransmitters. Um, your body, here's the key, your body doesn't produce B6, so you have to obtain it through either foods or supplements. Um, it increases the production of serotonin naturally, which helps you sleep better. So with my supplements, you take them, you might not notice the effects of them for one week or two weeks, because sometimes you have to build up some levels that your body is being, um, I guess, supported to produce. So um, give it a week or two when you're trying this, okay? Here's the key. Just because it says weight loss doesn't mean you're going to lose weight just by taking this. You still have to do the work, which is why I say it's a, it, you, it, it helps you maintain weight. So if you're one of those people that says, I don't need to lose weight, so I don't need that, this is really going to help you maintain the weight. If you want to lose weight, you have to still do the work of eating properly, even when you're maintaining weight. You have to eat right. So fruits, vegetables, real food, um, lean meats, you know, all the healthy stuff. Get rid of the process, get rid of the sugar, exercise daily. Is it okay to take these supplements on a ketogenic or low carb diet? Absolutely, Priscilla. Actually, these are probably the best way to take them because you're absorbing them and they're working efficiently. Yes, I sent a text message, but no one has answered yet. Elizabeth, I don't, where did you send a text message to Elizabeth? I'm not sure what, what it was about. Sorry. I sit in, um, is it in a more bioavailable form? Is what in a more, you can't get, um, Stacy, I don't know if you heard my whole thing. You cannot get more bioavailable than taking a liquid under your tongue. That is the best way to absorb nutrients. Don't do this with supplements that aren't supposed to be taken under your tongue because when you look at the, the milligrams, because it doesn't need to be absorbed through your gut and go to your liver, you need way less. So say you get one milligram of something under your tongue, you would have to probably ingest 100 milligrams or 50 milligrams of something as a pill because of the amount that you really won't absorb and then your liver will like detox and get it out of there because it's not supposed to have it. 
It doesn't want it. So um, this is the most bioavailable form of any type of supplement. What is your take? Sorry, I'm kind of going backwards, guys. What is your take on a vegetarian diet? I've been vegetarian for three months, although I eat legumes and um, uh, drink vegan protein shakes. I'm not as, I'm not getting as much protein. My cholesterol has decreased 70 points. However, I'm not losing weight. I'm less bloated, but I'm just frustrated with weight. So Shannon, um, a vegetarian diet, I don't know if you've read the research out there, um, it, it actually makes you sick. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm saying that your body needs meat protein. You don't, might not need a lot, but if you're not vegetarian for, um, if you're doing it for health purposes, um, there's been a lot of studies that say it actually causes more health issues long term decreases energy um, and all sorts of issues so um, if you're you know if you're doing it for um, other reasons religious or whatever that's one thing but um, if, if you're not eating meat um, you know I, I would suggest looking into it just do the research I don't have time to go into it but um, vegetarian diets can actually cause more um, health issues long term um, and if you're not losing weight, um, it's probably because your metabolism is down, your energy levels down. It could be related to the meat. It could be related to something else, stress, lack of sleep, all sorts of things. Um, you're probably not hydrated or detoxifying and sleep. So these are the three I would suggest trying it. I would give it two months, two months. And guys, the best way to do this right now, if you're interested in my weight loss program, um, and we're going to be sending you, the really cool thing is we're working on an email sequence right now, an email. Um, you're going to get about 50 emails, one a day, of a, a small little diet hack. A little diet hack that you can use or not use, but it might be something that helps you get over something a little bit easier. So you want to hear one of the diet hacks you might get? Um, so one of the diet hacks you might get in an email, one a day for 50 days, is um, 30, 20 minutes before you eat your dinner, and you can do this tonight, try it out, apple cider vinegar. Take a shot of apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon diluted in some water, drink it 20 minutes before you eat dinner. Apple cider vinegar has pectin in it. Pectin is what is in an apple that causes you to feel full. It sends a message straight to your brain that says, I'm full. When pectin sends that message to your brain, your brain goes, done, I don't need to eat anymore. So if you do this 20 minutes and sit down before you eat, and then you sit down to eat, you are going to get that signal to your brain, and you will probably eat about half of what's on your plate, because ultimately your brain is like no longer interested in food, because it knows that your stomach is full. That's a brain, that's a that's a um, diet hack. I'm just trying to pop the sugar. They use jaggery and injury. I've been hearing good things. Jaggery. I haven't heard of jaggery, Stacy. All right, let me see. I started taking ACV from my heartburn and I just started getting. So by the way, guys, oh, thanks, Chris. Doesn't pectin also heal leaky gut? Um, Dee Dee. Um, you know what? I don't honestly know. I can't answer that. I don't know, Dee Dee. But I, if it does. Everybody needs a little bit of less leaky gut, right? Dr. Jarvis from Matt Fultz Medicine back in the 50s about accolades of apple cider vinegar. Oh my gosh, apple cider vinegar is amazing. Um, remember me, ah, Emily, hi Emily. Shock better than bourbon. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out wherever. Trina, sorry, I'm getting off topic. I received my charcoal mask and received a brush. Do I use the brush? Yes, and Christy did, that was what Christy was answering. Yes, you use that brush to apply your char glow face mask. It's amazing. Uh, are these okay to take if you have MTHFR mutation? So Dee Dee, I would just double check all the ingredients. I personally, I believe they're all okay for that, but just double check all the ingredients for yourself, um, just so you know for sure, because I can't necessarily answer that 100%. Yay, Bill, yay. Bill says um, he's gonna be doing his own podcast about the package. So Bill, just push your podcast if you're still watching. All right, guys, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, I can't control what goes in your mouth. Um, I can't control how much you work out. 
Um, that is all what you need to do on your own, no matter what diet program you're on. So that doesn't have anything to do specifically with mine, um, with this. It has to do with, your, with, with whatever diet program you're on. Your responsibility is what goes in your mouth and what you do for exercise, as well as how much you sleep and all those other things. Thanks, A-teamers, for joining me. And then um, if anybody's interested in looking at our fall, what, the, what skincare I recommend for the fall season, um, the fall beauty box is one way to get everything complete that you would need for the fall. Uh, but I also posted the skincare that I highly recommend for the fall. It's specific for the season. It's going to help you get over the damage the sun has done. Internal damage, you don't see it. You won't see this, this summer's damage inside your skin. You won't see for another year or two. Um, or maybe a little sooner or a little longer. But if you, if you use what I'm telling you, there's a good chance you won't see it at all because we're going to wipe it out and get rid of it. We're going to turn those cells over faster. We're going to hyper uh, nutrient your cells and your skin and keep you from getting those wrinkles and lines and discolorations and age spots and things like that. Wait, you have makeup too, Jessica? Yes. I freaking love your tooth powder. You just made my day. Woo. Happy dance. Um, yes, I have makeup. It's all powder. And the color comes from clay and foods, herbs, flowers, zero minerals. I don't use mica. I don't use uh, titanium dioxide. I don't use any minerals because the minerals are washed in chemicals. So if you are someone who likes uber clean skincare, you have found your uber clean skincare nurse. You really have. I don't tolerate crap. I don't tolerate hiding things from you. I don't tolerate hidden toxins like water. I don't tolerate hidden toxins like minerals in makeup. I don't tolerate any of that crap. So I am here to um, change the way you think about beauty uh, because if you follow what the beauty industry is giving you, you will become more toxic every single day. That's the reason I started doing supplements because I got so tired of um, every supplement coming out with all the crap in it and never getting results. I want to support your health, but the way to do it is to support your body's functions, your body's function. Metabolism, hydration, detoxification goes with that, and sleep. You support those three, boom, you will be golden. You will, as long as you do the work of eating right and exercising, there's a lot of calming that can happen in your body and a lot of things can turn around. So I can help you. Um, but your makeup is awesome. I don't use, I don't use regular just because I don't use makeup, but when I do, I use yours mixed in coconut oil. Yay, Judy. I don't use makeup, like today I'm makeup free. Oh no, wait, I did put a little bit on today, but most days I'm makeup free. I don't use it all the time either, but it's great when you need it, it's great. All right, have a great night, you guys, Jessica. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, Chris and Christy and Donna Joy, all you guys. I thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Sonia, um, Didi, um, have a great night. Have a great night, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.